Hey everybody, Tony D. Little Jones asleep on the couch, and this is a screenwriter's rant on Portal Runner, a sci-fi thriller movie, which is kind of like Sliders, only more supernatural. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Oh, excuse me. The Pineys. Comedy horror in South Jersey. Uh, sorry for the late videos. Uh, got caught up in some family stuff today. But this movie looks pretty good, Portal Runner. Um, so the deal is some kind of supernatural thing where he jumps through portals. And each time uh, he has to jump through mirrors, he ends up back in his house. But it's always a little different. So it's like alternate universes. Or maybe they're changing. And this is the bad guy chasing him for some reason that kills his father. So he's trying to save his dad in these alternate realities. And then, like, he gets to a point where his sister um, is going to help him. Maybe he didn't have a sister in some of the alternate universes. And in this one, he does. And then they come up with a plan together to stop the evil guy who follows him. So it looks pretty cool. It's a low budget movie from Terror Films, directed by Cornelia or yeah, Cornelia Durier. Screenplay by J.D. Henning and Talis Moore. Story by J.D. Henning. It uh, feels like a really solid premise. Uh, it says Los Angeles casting, so I assume they shot it in L.A. somewhere. Uh, it feels like it's a really together low budget movie. It almost felt like a TV show. I mean, the casting looks good. The effects look... They're a little cheesy. But cheesy now is different from, like, say, cheesy in the 80s in terms of effects. I mean, now they have pretty decent effects, even in a laptop. So, you know, if you can get past that, if you don't have to see, like, liquid metal coming out as he steps out of the mirror, they're pretty good. Um, and it's... You know, very sort of basic Slider's premise. So in other words, the whole movie is going to be in this house. And it's going to be the same house over and over again, just slightly different each time. And he's going to keep stepping out of mirrors and finding his sister. And then this guy, they set traps for him. So it looks like it could be fun. I mean, it looks, it's got a lot of energy behind it. I really like the energy to it. Um, because a lot of times in these movies, especially a low budget movie, it feels like the characters are too important. The story is too important. It's too serious. And it doesn't feel like the characters have a life to them. You know what I mean? The only thing happening is the plot of the movie. Whereas in this, the characters, the actors feel like they have something to them. They have a skeleton, if you will. You know, a lot of times when people draw comics... Uh, you could tell a good artist because you could really see the skeleton underneath the character. And that's a that's a real thing. You could see that the characters have depth to them. And you can sort of see the skeleton when you see the art. It's the same thing when writing a movie. You, you feel like the characters, if this wasn't happening, the characters would have something else to do. That's the skeleton characters need that are missing so many times from a movie. Oh, it pains me. Pains me to watch. Um, and I keep mentioning it because I just watched it, but the trip, right? So in the trip, the events that happen in that movie, you you get a sense from the characters that if if those events didn't happen, something else would have happened. Because these characters had a life. And that's what this movie feels like, which is why I say it's a good movie to see. Um, I would totally watch this movie. I love sci-fi. I love the supernatural. I love these kind of genre oriented, and I especially do love... See, it's not great effects, but it's okay. I mean, look, it, it's, it's flush with the mirror, and he's going to step through it, and I'll, it'll look cool enough. I'm perfectly fine with it. Look, in the 80s, it would have been that blue lightning from Ghostbusters, you know, painted on the movie afterwards. I'm totally down with this. Uh, it actually looks a little old, but is this movie playing anywhere online? Uh, let's see watch free full movies oh an exclusive films film is now movie trailers so maybe you can watch this for free already this is 15 year old nolan discovers a secreted family legacy and a portal that enables him to travel to parallel worlds it's a young boy's dream come true until it becomes a nightmare and blah 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 oh and it's a christmas movie too huh interesting so 
begins streaming and is available on demand. See, you should put this in the in the trailer, but it's available on demand December 10th. I would totally watch this. Oh, and they got merch already. Look at you guys. Okay, cool. Cool, I'm down with it. It's called Portal Runner. Could have come up with a better name, but it's acceptable. Um, I think this will be entertaining, to say the least. Now, will it blow your doors off? I don't think so, but it feels like a movie they could make a TV show out of. It feels like a good version of Sliders. Look, I like Sliders. I like the premise more than I like the show. The execution was very wonky. You know, you'd have great episodes, and then episodes you'd be like, what the F, man? Uh, the characters would wildly different from episode to episode. Um, but this, I feel, is has got a good consistency to it. It's got a good world. The first act, I guess he discovers portal hopping. Uh, second act, he, you know, gets realizes he can't get back to his own universe, maybe. And this guy's after him. And then the third act, they finally stop this guy from killing people. And he gets back to his own universe? Maybe? Uh, or maybe he's trapped in the one with his sister. Maybe he doesn't always have a sister. So there's a lot you could do with it. So it's called Portal Runner. I, I like the premise. So uh, I'll look for it December 10th. I'm going to give it a rare upvote. It's not like I gave it. I can give it a downvote, but who would care? And that's it for me, Tony D. Check us out on BitChute and Rumble. Me and Little Joan have two other videos. And we'll see you in the next one.